Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton, postseason baseball singing. It's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Brandon Fat, Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to Leading keep that front right side field. closed and hit the ball the other way. Because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Okay, all set to go. And digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. On the ground at first. And the pitch. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Going two now. In the air, right field. Carroll moving under it. One away. Trey Turner at the plate. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. That one not close. Ball one. On the ground to the left. Can't glove it cleanly. Hard to tell exactly what went wrong right there. That was a fairly routine ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to stick in the glove. Might have taken his eye off it a little early, but regardless, you're going to have to work around that error. Runner on at first with one gone. Bryce Harper to the plate. Now move to first. And Turner's back in. Check swing. He held up. And that's ball one. Fat checks on first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Still. Turner runs. Pitch in the dirt, and he throws it away. Well, the pressure was on, and he knew he had to have a quick release behind the plate if he was going to have any chance of catching him at second. He's got great speed, and in this case, it resulted in moving up two bases. That's what happens when you aren't able to get your feet under you and square up to second properly. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. This to center field. Carroll moving under it. Brings it in. Runner tags for home. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And now it's Alec Bohm. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game. 
because of how good the offenses are. And first offering is fouled off. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark, and you help to quiet that one down ball. a little bit. And ball one. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And that's oh, off that. the inside edge. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Line of the pitch. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Struck him out looking. So a couple of errors lead to a run. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Phillies one and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here in the desert, and starting this one, Ranger Suarez. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. Bottom Way of the first. The Here's Cattel Marte. The second baseman. Cattell. Marte. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. And fouled off. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough. And played right into the hands of the pitcher. This is Corbin Carroll. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. They say it went. to right in one hops off the wall should be extra bases around second now going for three in there safely well that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count up against it with two strikes right there he hit that ball really well to deep right field right there got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence but you're always happy with an extra base hit Next to hit for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. That one's in there, 0 and 1. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. 
That one, one misses. Two it's a ball and two strikes. And now two and two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. The pitch. Misses. Full count now. One away with a runner at third. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Now it's Christian Walker. That one misses. That's five straight. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next offering is in for a strike. Rudders are at the corners, one away. Next pitch misses way outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. That one is absolutely belted. One runs in, and it's off the wall. The relay throw. Safe at the plate. It's 2-1. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine. Ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Tommy Pham. Off the mark there, and it's 1 0. And a strike in there. One out and a runner at second. The one one is fouled off. In the dirt, but kept close. Tag C. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Even with a good secondary lead, sometimes it's hard to see just how far that ball's gotten away from the catcher. And if you can make it to third base pretty much standing up, well, at that time, he seemed to have a pretty good read, gets to third safely, and now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three and two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. Here's Guriel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike.
Walker on third. Fan at first. One gone. Bounce to the left side. And it kicks off the bag. The throws offline. He's saved. And they lead by two. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. And now the lefty, now one and one. One ball, one strike. That one drilled left field, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. One run across, runner holds it third, so just one across on the play. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That was a really close one down the line. Just barely kept it fair, but did a great job of turning on that inside pitch and ripping it for a double. Second and third, one gone. Next to hit, Emmanuel Rivera. In there for strike one. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. Two on, one out. In the one dirt, one. one ball, one strike. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Rocket it out towards right center. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Batting nine. Now shortstop. Tim Walter. Perdomo. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. Singing game five and elimination spot, and the spotlight is focused on this guy. Everybody looks to the star players in big games like this, and this is what you get paid for. Time to come through. Ah, uh, look out. That fastball drilled him. Just a fastball that got away from him there. He didn't have the right finish to it. Good extension that he needed to get to his target. Marte up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs, bases are full. One one is fouled off. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Two outs. Out to short Turner. Sends it across the first. They get the out on Marte. What a play to end the inning. So they do get four runs across, but they end up leaving the bases loaded. On to the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Phillies one. Back here at Chase Field, this is Bryson Stock. The second base, Bryson Stock. The wind of the pitch. Nope. And that's a little high. Yeah. And that's in for a strike. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. Here's a 1 1. And there's a foul ball. The 
Hawaii to kick the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Left-hand batter waits. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the righty deals. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. A swing and a soft liner. And that's a foul ball. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Next offering misses, and the count's full. The pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. to first and he gets him nicely done that was an impressive diving stop singing let's dive into the numbers step cast the simple yeah bro a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball he found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well so that right there is a great play all the way around just really smooth JT Real Muto steps in. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. They say it went. Next pitch is outside. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Righty delivers. Two balls, two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Nick Castellanos in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. And he deals. That's inside, and it's a ball to strike. Got the bat going too soon, it's strike two. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. And a one-two again. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. A wind in the pitch. Check swing. Now to look down to first. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Offense held a check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Phillies one. And welcome back. Now, Corbin Carroll. The center fielder. Corbin Carroll. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. 
saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Swing and a pop-up. Safe at first as they can't make the play. That one gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Paid a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Moreno stands in now and watches strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Move to first, and he's back in easily. The next offering misses, and that is ball one. Kicks and fires. And that one just missed off the outside edge. The pitch. That's in there. Two and two now. Now snap throw to first. Carroll back easily. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Ground ball left side and that's just foul. Two two now. Bows that off to the left and we'll do it again. And the pitch. On the ground right side. And it goes just foul. Carroll on at first. Nobody out. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. I got the ball, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. He drove it two with a double his first time up. All one low. Snap throw to first. No, he's and he's back it. safely. Get a piece. And a pitch. And that now ball two ball. and nothing as that one missed below the three knees. No, Last three. two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, no, and get safe. back into this at bat. Checks over to first, back safely. Two and all to count. Here it comes. Inside ball three. Shoot it. 
And there's the strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Next offering is foul back. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now batting, the right fielder, Tommy. Now it's the right fielder, Tommy yeah. Fan. The walk and a run scored his first time. On the corner for a strike, going one. That one ripped. That's back. That's down. One hops off the wall. One run is in. Now two runs score. It's 6-1. Nicely done. Brings home two. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Ranger Suarez gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Sir Anthony Dominguez comes on now. Well, they need someone to stop the bleeding and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Reached on an infield single his first time. Come on, guys, don't blow it. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's 0-2. Runner at second here, one gone. The next pitch misses, and it's one and two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you nope, want it. That's ball. Misses, and it's two and two. <laughs> And that's outside. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Out there to center. Rojas has a beat on it. Makes the grab. Two down. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Evan Longoria. So now here's the DH, Evan Longoria. He doubled home a run in his first AB. there and it's 0-1. Ball one there. Pitch misses there and it's 2-1. and one. Runner at second, two down. They say it went. Two ball, two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We play two full. It's the Diamondback six, and the Phillies one. Welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Brandon Marsh. The left fielder. Brandon Marsh. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. And now the count is even. Right hander kicks deals. Off the mark there. And a count two and one. This one ripped, but foul to the right. Two two now. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that, that one. Enough. I could watch base hits the like that field. one all day long, yeah. and so could every hitting Real coach long. in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now for the Phillies, Johan Rojas. First pitch, and he just misses. Marsh gets his lead at first with nobody out. In for a strike. And the count even at one. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Check on the runner. Marsh dives back in safely. pitch hey. on the corner for a strike one and two righty to the plate that one missed <laughs> next offering is outside Runner at first with no outs here. In the air, out towards left center. Snags it on the run. One down. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. 0 for 1, he flat out to right this first trip. Schwarber hitting leadoff in today's game, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. That one's in there, 0 and 1. pitch in the dirt nice job behind the plate there one and two here check swing got? tried to hold up now it appeal to third no swing throw to first throw and it gets away Boog, you got to move your feet as footwork is so important on those pickoff throws over to first and can be a little easy to get twisted up and throw across your body and he didn't have much of a lead over there at all so I doubt he was trying to do anything more than just keep him honest which makes that error hurt even more 
Next pitch misses outside. And now three and two. Swing and a miss. He swung over top of the curveball. That right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. Turner batting for the second time. And that's strike one. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Next one misses, and it's one and one. Man at second. On the ground, out to short. Fires to first on the run. And that's the third out. One left for Philadelphia. They trail it 6 1. Back here in the desert, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera. Dominguez back to work Dominguez 6-1 righty he features a four seam fastball a sinker a slider and he works in a changeup and that one is lifted in the air that gets down for a hit so a man on base to start the inning Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And here it comes. And it's even up. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Oh. That misses the zone. And it's two and one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, I've always said it's tough. A elevated fastball you see so well, hard to lay off of. Well, when you're talking about 100 miles per hour, chances of catching up are next to none. So you see that one just blown right by him. I think you're going to have to start a lot earlier if you're going to catch up to that speed. Marte batting with one down, takes a strike. Yeah, that's outside. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two away. Center fielder, number seven, Corbin. So digging in, Corbin Carroll. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Michael Lorenzen up and throwing. Two outs. I got one ball, one strike. Strike on the inside corner. Ah. 
Got him. And that ends the inning. One left for Arizona. They lead it though 6-1. Back here at the ballpark, and now here is Harper. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. Jack swing. One ball. Went around. Two One and two. Out towards left center. Carroll moves towards it. Grabs it on the run. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Now fly ball to right center. Fan under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Bryson Stott grounded out his first time. And there's a strike of the outside corner. It's 0-1. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Now he'll turn for second. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. And he's there at third with a triple. Everything came together for him. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Carroll makes the catch, and that'll do it. Philly strand one. The lead remains five. It's 6 1. Bottom of the fourth, now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel Moreno. The catcher, Gabriel Moreno. The right-hander back to work. And that one off the outside edge. To third, boom. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Now batting, first baseman, Christian Walker. Christian Walker now at the plate. On oh, the ground to third. Two up, two the down. The batter, the right fielder, Tommy Fan. And now the right fielder, Tommy Fan. Come on, Tom. Let's go, be back. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Ball one. And 
And another ball. That one missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. The 3-1. And yeah, there's ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr., one for two. First pitch, not close. Pickoff throw. Fan back to first safely. Hey. Fastball in for a strike at one and one. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Fan leads off first with two down to the inning. That hits the dirt, and that's ball two. On the ground, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bag. And they do get the third out of the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. They still lead it, though, 6-1. Ready now for the fifth inning. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Outside corner, there's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. You know, these fills just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for him, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Castellanos started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate, picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Slapped foul. Out to short. Oh, great grab on the dive. Fires to first. The stretch in first, but he beats it. Almost a fantastic play there. The effort from both players involved in this play just really stands out to me. I mean, we got the diving stop at short, which was outstanding, and how can you not love the hustle flying down the line? That's just great baseball at an extremely high level. Man at first, Johan Rojas stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. pitch hey. curveball drops in there activity in the bullpen Slade Ciccone appears to be getting ready and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves this would be his major league debut Ginkle getting cranked up as well righty delivers and downstairs Next pitch just misses, and the count is two and two. 
at the belt and fires. Liner, base hit. The throw is wild and it gets away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. That's in for a strike. Runners at first and second with one gone. Now this is in the air down the line. Coming on is Pham to make the play. Runner tags at second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. Trey Turner with a chance now. That hits the dirt, ball one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get Wait. it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Runners on first and third, two away. Hey, Fouled off left side. Two on, two outs. Down the left field line, base hit. One run is in. Rojas coming home. The relay to the plate. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here's Bryce Harper. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits and misses inside. Checks his swing, appeal to third, and he went, says Larry Bullard. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Back here at Chase Field, leading off Evan Longoria. The pitch. Fastball catches the corner at the knees. Well, these Diamondbacks really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Oh, and two now. And Whoa, now right one there. and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Rivera in the box now. No balls and a strike. Line drive, base hit right field. 
You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, no, I've seen him stay two. consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's the shortstop at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Yes, Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Five innings complete. It's the Diamondbacks six and the Phillies three. Slade Ciccone on to pitch here. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Alec Bowl digs in now. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. There's the strike. Ciccone in his rookie season. He features a sinker, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Right side, Marte. Over to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And now it's going to be Bryson Stock. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. And that one sliced foul. Left hand batter waits. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you have time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Man at first with one gone. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. Real Muto goes six foot one, 210 pounds, and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year. And first offering is fouled off. Check on the runner. Stop. Back in on a dive. That one fouled off. Stop. Stands at first with one out. And takes low for ball one. Line drive. That's a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely. Now let's see if they can string something together. Make it a little more interesting. Turned on, but foul wide of third.
and a pinch. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. The 1 1. Ground ball left side could be two. The toss to second to Walker, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6 4 3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. A new arm into the game, the righty, Michael Lorenzo. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Back to the top of the lineup. Cattell Marte up to the plate. The second well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And the pitch. And ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. And now it's even up. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Carroll in the box here lets that one go for a ball movement in the bullpen Gregory Soto preparing to come on if needed right handed reliever pitch misses and the count two and one. Two balls, one strike. And the right hater deals. And that's downstairs and outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. And he walked him. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Here's the catcher to hit. Gabrielle Moreno. Lorenzo throws the first. And he's back standing. Moreno, 23 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. First offering, and it just misses. Now moves to first. And the 1 0. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And off the base of the wall. Turner with a relay throw. But it's offline, and they lead by four. Comes through with the RBI. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Christian Walker getting ready to hit. In there for strike one. And a pitch. Upstairs. Oh, 
So a foul ball makes it one and two. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Kicks and deals. Just outside. Two balls, two strikes. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And it's second. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. That's out number two. Now that right fielder. Coming. There. Now up next for Arizona, Tommy Fan. There's a strike. That's a strike. Moreno at second with two down. Just missed the inside corner. It's a ball and two strikes. And down on strikes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're on to the seventh inning now in the deciding game five. It's the Diamondbacks seven and the Phillies three. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Kyle Nelson. Bringing in the lefty with a left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. The Phils in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that is in for a strike. Going along. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. In the air, left field. Guriel handles the chance. And there's one down. So up next, Johan Rojas. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And a base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. So the Philly batting order turns over. Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Come here comes the 0-1. That right. clips the corner. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Miguel Castro up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. Swings through him for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Here's Turner now. One for three. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. And 
And a pitch. That strike right there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And here it comes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for Philadelphia. Deficit remains at four. It's 7-3. Jose Alvarado gets handed the rock out of the pen. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Lourdes Goriel Jr. now at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The pitch. And that one is inside ball one. Alvarado, he's one of those guys that seems like he's out there to do just one thing, and that's strike people out. Next offering is in for a strike. He looks frustrated when a guy puts a ball in play, and that's what you're doing. You're coming in, putting out a fire, high leverage situation, and with his kind of stuff, Everyone expects him to strike out hitters. Way outside, two balls and a strike. When you think about building a bullpen, is strikeout rate one of the main things you're looking at? Absolutely. And when you're talking about working from the back forward, those last three innings are the toughest ones of the ball game. Two-two now. And now the count filled up three and two. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Leading off for the Diamondbacks. So next is the designated hitter for the D-backs, Evan Longoria. Longoria. Gets the outside corner with that one. Guriel aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch is outside, and now it's even one and one. And that's in the dirt. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Here comes a pitch. Inside, just missed. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Now batting, the third baseman. Emmanuel. Next to hit for Arizona, Emmanuel Rivera. That nope. misses. One and oh. Two walks in the oh, inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. At the belt and fires. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Here comes Goriel. He will score, and it's 8-3. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field, so that definitely felt good. Geraldo Perdomo, the next to hit. Let's go now. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Marte stands in now and watches strike one. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Started after it. Appeal to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. 0-2 now. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Ball one there. Base is juiced. No outs. Pitch misses. And the count's even at two. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. Now we'll have some adjustments to make. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Gregory Soto. And he comes on in a close game with a pretty big mess to clean up. He's going to have to make some great pitches the rest of this inning to keep him in it. Here's the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Ground ball right side could be two. He flips it to second in time. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks eight and the Phillies three. Miguel Castro into the game. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Here's Harper now. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. And the pitch. 0 and 1. 0 1 the count. And there's a ball. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. drive that's a base hit out of the left center field that ball was absolutely ripped 111 off the bat and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat I think I heard that too Boog and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Boom, in the box now as he leaves that one up high. If you're gonna get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's gotta look over the shoulder and say, I'm just gonna keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. 
That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And a count one and one. Right hander kicks deals. Fly ball down the line. Coming on is Pham to make the play. And there's one away. Here's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. Roll to short, possible two ball. The flip to second on the first double play, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Diamondbacks eight and the Phillies three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Matt Strong. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Three, four, five due up for the home team. Here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. And he deals. In the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Up next to the Diamondback. The first base. And now, Christian Walker. Walker. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Action in the pen down there. Jeff Hoffman getting loose out there. Hold it one now. Just oh, off the outside part of the plate. In there. And so now one and two. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. In safely with a double. His second of the day. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. So digging in, Tommy Pham. A strikeout and a walk. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's through there for a strike. Walker, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is down low. Ball two. The pitch. Foul ball there. Kicks and fires. 
Still two and two after the foul ball. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And now the lefty fly ball to right. Castellanos gets under it. And it's caught for the out. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. In there, and it's 0 1. Two outs. That one in there across the letters. The 0 2. And now one, one and two. two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. That was the emergency hack right there. Two two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. That one ninety five to finish him off. One left for Arizona, but they lead it eight three. Back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kevin Ginkle. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now it is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And a pitch. And strike one to the catcher. Ginkle, in his third season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. And the right hander deals, falling behind two and one. Looked like it was a little bit up. Line drive, caught! Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Well, impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the bat expands. Kicks and deals. There's a swing and a miss. No Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Ryan Thompson is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. The 2 They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Rolled over to third. Now the throw to first on the run. And they're down to their last out. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. 
So it's their last chance in this one. Brandon Marsh will hit next. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. And that is cut on and miss. That is strike two. That's a little bit low. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game.